welcome to my to the seventh battle in my first ever let's play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. In this battle, I am facing off against a large force of Russians, force of Russians. That is, um, what happened was uh, Russia has quite a few armies lying around uh, Saint Petersburg. He wants it desperately. However, one of them strayed too close to the city, and my uh, big army, my full army, uh, was sent out to meet them. So this is going to be the first really big pitch battle in this game, featuring full armies, well, my full army at least. Now, I'm going to split my infantry force into two parts, one with eight troops, one with four troops. Uh, this is uh, because I'm going to have one main line, which is this line. I'm going to have one flanking line, which is this line. And I just need to find a good flanking position. Uh, this is an elevator position. Okay, so I'm going to use that. That's my flanking position. At the same time, I do have quite a few batteries, uh, no, quite a few cannons, and I do have quite a few cavalry units. I'm going to split my cavalry units into two groups. And my artillery units into one group. Now, some of my cavalry are going to follow this flanking force. I'm actually going to let that be the other cavalry units. There we go. And this flanking force is going to go the other way, of course. I'll just put him up there for now. My general. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's fine right there. Now, I ha I only have 12 pounds of foot artillery. I don't have any howitzers or anything, so I need to find some elevation where I can put my cannons on. Uh, this looks like a good spot for one battery. Apparently not. There we go. If I place them there, would that be alright? Yes, that'll be alright. I am going to move my uh, my line infantry units a bit. I'm actually going to move this a bit closer as well. Now, uh, I don't want to place an artillery piece in this forest. So I have to find somewhere else to place it. Up here would be ideal. So I'm going to try and rush ahead and take this area. Two or two pieces right here. That would be great. Yes, I'm going to do that. Put one side here. Okay. And my flanking force is going to follow them. So, let's get it on. Now, I'm going to pause this and set up my troops properly. Uh, I don't do this in multiplayer battles or anything, but I, in single player you can, and I am going to do it. So, let's first of all move this one into the correct position, which is a bit closer. There we go. I'm going to move my main line. So they have this little hill to stand up on. No, he does have quite a long line. So three ranks should do it. Should do it fine. There we go. Also have a couple of cavalry units right here. It's going to send uh, one of them into this forest to hide. This one I'm going to send all the way around into this forest to hide. Hopefully they'll be able to hide over there. Sorry if my volume was a bit low. My microphone was far away from my mouth. Anyway, um, now let's see where I put those guys. Put them over there. These two artillery pieces right here, I am going to move them right now to a good position. I feel like this would be ideal for that one. Yes. And, uh, this would be ideal for that one. Yes. Okay, good. Meanwhile, my flanking force need to be positioned right here. Closer, right there. Uh, the middle thing is there. There we go. Yeah, uh, that that's good enough. Put them right there. While my cavalry is going to go uh, way around, all the way around, and get over there. Now he's running, so I'm gonna have to run my troops to get in position as well. I want a good position for my troops. Uh, my artillery is uh, in the position 
so I'm going to deploy this one. I don't know what these guys are doing, to be honest. I have no clue who's going to give them the orders again. What are they doing? That's the wrong way, boys, wrong way. I see the Russians also. Okay, they're moving their army quite a bit. I want to hide these guys. I know he's going to know they're there, but still. Now, I'm taking some artillery fire, as you can hear. Oh, that was actually my artillery firing on him. See the smoke trails. I don't know what this army or this is doing at all. It's completely bugged. Which kind of sucks. Because these guys should have been in position to shoot those guys right now. It's not gonna happen. Too bad. He's sending a provincial cavalry unit against my cavalry units, and that sucks for him because mine are better. Mine are bigger, mine are better. It's a bad decision by him. He has a regiment of horse, but it's still too small compared to mine. And my turret is soon in position. Now, the only danger here is that he is actually gonna charge them, so. I'm going to place the line of unit in front. Now, I can place them in front because, as you can see, I positioned my artillery pieces on top of the small hills. Which is exactly why I did that. So. Now, a little horse battle over here. I have crushed his uh, little cavalry units. So he's sending his own regiment around, but it's not going to be enough. His Cossack infantry is almost within range. Almost. Not quite though. Not quite. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have a pitch battle over there. Might lose my cavalry. What's happening over here? Oh, he attacked my cavalry without me even noticing. It's kind of impressive considering they were hidden. Some artillery barrage is going back and forth, as you can see. Uh, these guys should be firing cannons to shots right now. These guys should just be hitting those guys in the arse. Full on, full boss. I'll probably end up losing them, but that's not too good, too dangerous. There's only one unit. Uh, it just looks like, again, yeah, I might have gotten hit with my cannons to shots. So nice. Okay, the line battle is going alright. I do have an advantage though. And I take that mode of his most of his artillery, which is good. His cavalry is losing the battle now that my uh, guys have actually gone into melee. And I'm going to send my line infantry into melee with his Cossack infantry because as I figured out on the campaign map, mine are better at fighting than his, than his are. In melee that is. Although they are quite tired. My guy is also better at shooting than his are. Which means that if he keeps engaging my troops like he is right now, line versus line, my line is going to be advanced down. No problem. This line hasn't been used at all, so I'm going to use this line to roll up this line. And he's actually managed to hit me again with cavalry without me noticing. And my cancer shots doing a great job. Doing what they do best. Now, I'm afraid this line infantry unit is lost. It's probably gonna die. And that's fine. I'm actually bad for that. So. Now, my trick, the thing I'm gonna have to do now is find units that are not actually engaged. 
and I'm going to charge these guys into the Cossack Infantry. No point charging both units at the same time, right? Like. He's broken already. He's running. It looks like this is a win for Sweden. Pockets of Russian resistance, but it's mostly over by now. He's dead, he just hasn't really lost it yet. Oh, there's so many troops right there. I have to kill them all. I have to kill them all to show Russia what happens when you mess with Sweden. These guys are active, they're not that exhausted. So I can actually charge after these guys with them. Now, I do not like to chase mechanics in this game, it's much better done in uh, Shogun 2 and all the other games, but that's just how it is. Can't change that right now. You have to do a lot of stuff manually with this one, which I don't like. This full pound footage for is getting away. It sucks. We gotta get the theory. Okay, he still has a way to run. My general should be able to catch up with them because they're very, very tired. I'll do that. My guys are so tired that they, they're shaking. You know, they're shook up. They're sandwich. They're not going to last long. These guys actually stop running. So do these guys. So this battle is not yet won per se. Uh, it is finished pretty much, but it's not won in the sense that I have not crushed every single guy he has yet. There we go, now I want it. So once again, I'm not going to make you watch me chasing down all the troops again. So uh, thank you for watching this match in uh, my first ever Let's Play. The first big pitch battle which I won hands down against Russia. It looks like uh, there's going to be quite a few more of these because Russia has a lot of enemy, has a lot of armies. So stay tuned and let's back to the campaign. I just wanted to add this sad side. This pretty much sums up the whole battle. One guy dragging away their ammunition car. Russia is done for. They are gone. I kind of pitied them, but that's just how it is. Sweden!